All right, well, obviously we all have a lot of time on our hands. Everybody's stuck at home on the internet and uh, watching TV, and some of us have been working. So we, we definitely got some improvements done to some of our existing systems uh, here at Innovative Cycles. So I figured uh, we'd make a video and show some of the uh, the upgrades. Uh, let me get some of these out of the way. These are the, the, the new bar mount new bar mount style it's got all the new software those have actually just the software which I'm going to show here in a little bit uh, but uh, these here the sport bike versions Obviously, before we had the turn signals, uh, the turn signals were just basically uh, individual LEDs drilled in the back of the, the back of the mirror, which they definitely looked uh, they looked trick. They looked custom, definitely purpose made. Uh, but the new ones are no doubt a lot nicer. Now these are actual modules that we make and actually build into the back of the shell, and I mean they definitely look like they definitely look like the mirror company made them. So. Uh, so there are no doubt they're a lot nicer than the old ones. Let me see. <laughs> oh yeah. So much nicer. Built in flush. Definitely a, uh, a big improvement. The old ones were definitely nice, but the new ones are no question. <laughs> much nicer. And uh, obviously the fronts, the mirrors themselves, we're, we're using new materials, uh, better materials uh, that definitely make them look a little bit, uh, a little bit showier, a little bit nicer, um, which I'm going to show here in a minute where I can actually power up uh, a mirror. All right, and one other thing I wanted to point out was is that, uh, that these are actually Suzuki mirrors that we use. And we use these basically because uh, the most mirrors obviously are, are like a, of a teardrop shape. And obviously we're using a square screen. And the, even if you could fit the, the 4.3 wide screen in a, a stock mirror, which you cannot, uh, these, are the, these are the raw screens that we use here. And as you can see, they, they wouldn't even come close. The corners touch the whole bit. But uh, uh, they would just wouldn't look symmetrically correct even if we could get them in there but as you can see the, the aspect ratio of the of the screens as opposed to the mirror shell itself they actually look like they belong in there uh, so that was the that's one of the main reasons why we started using these mirrors for all bikes not only that but these have the rubber boot as well and that hides the wires to where most mirrors have the the long stalk and the wire has to go along that and of course you'd see that but not only that we've we've gotten some comments over the years that oh that bezel's too big you you could definitely get a larger screen in there uh, you should have a larger screen and of course if we could get a larger screen in there <laughs> obviously we would uh, put one in there now as you can see this is a 4.3 wide screen that we use uh, the next one up is the 5 inch and now the size of a screen that they're giving you is the actual viewing area not the border around the mirror so this this is 4.3 without all the metal around the edge and a 5, five uh, inch is larger viewing area and the border around the outside is even larger than this and as you can see this one barely squeezes in there as it is the corners almost touch so obviously a five inch wouldn't fit in there if it did we would squeeze a five inch in there uh, but the five inch just won't actually fit in there so that's the main reason why we have that that actual bezel around there but hey that gives us enough room to engrave our logo in there nice and neat so it is what it is but yeah let's get on to some of these features all right, let's move on to some of these uh, cool new features. Now, usually I would hook up one of these right to a little battery like that, that, I, that like I did for the turn signals, but we got this cool little setup here for just this reason, that we take to uh, bike nights and uh, car shows and stuff like that, bike shows, if, in, case, uh, in case we don't actually have a bike going there. Uh, obviously, we still want to push our kit, since this is our one of our, actually our biggest item. So we got this uh, self-contained kit that actually has bars and all, and you'd be surprised how funny when we let people hold it and it's full grown men are going, that's pretty funny. But uh, as you can see, it's a completely self-contained kit. 
It's got everything all built into it, uh, battery, and uh, but also what it's got built in is uh, most people are under the impression that these kits uh, use a lot of power and they want to hook it to their key so it turns on and off with your key. But uh, we hooked this up with a, an actual gauge here and I'm going to wait for a minute to show until it actually boots up and because uh, the brightness actually gets a little bit brighter, uses a little bit more power. So, all right, now it's fully loaded up and as you can see, it's using 0.35 amps which is next to nothing. I mean, uh, there's a, there's a car clocks in cars that use more power than that that are on indefinitely. Uh, uh, so like I said, we try to make these kits as uh, efficient as possible. And basically, I mean, I've been using these for years. I've had them on all my bikes. I leave these things on two, three hours at a time. I go to bike nights. We, we stop and wait for everybody. Sometimes that takes quite a while. I turn these things on when I leave early afternoon. My mirrors don't go off till I come home late at night and park my bike. Uh, they don't drop out when you start the bike. Uh, and basically they I've never had any kind of battery issue whatsoever And I mean once you have these for a while you're gonna want to leave them on anyway They they draw a lot of attention and uh, you know, obviously it's there's nothing wrong with that We're all trying to make our bikes our own. What's that? 11 or 9 1 CBR 1000 1, Yeah. Oh wow, check that out <laughs> That's pretty cool Thanks man the highway, that's my bad, uh, you know what I mean? Alright, thanks That's pretty cool, where's that at? In the back? Yeah, it's in the tail light definitely get a lot of attention and uh, not only that but when you every time you shut the key off and then turn the key back on again it has to reload all your maps uh, if you have a course plotted it has to uh, reload your your course um, so needless to say it's nice that they don't turn off uh, every time you shut the bike off and again since power is not an issue there's no need to uh, so we made these with this gauge so that we can actually show any potential shops or customers uh, just how little power these things actually use uh, so it's a pretty cool setup um, and then obviously some of the some of the cool features it has is uh, we use these raw GPS screens. Uh, they're definitely way more resilient than normal GPS screens that would never handle, uh, you know, like a motorcycle installation with the vibration and the moisture and that kind of thing. So uh, these things work great for that. We use uh, Garmin software. Uh, at first we started using them because they're more motorcycle friendly. Uh, but now we actually have somebody who writes software for us. Uh, but we still use the Garmin and they write a lot of track day stuff for us and all that. But of course we're still using a lot of the existing Garmin stuff that most people are aware of that's used at Garmin, which is smartphone link. Obviously it's Bluetooth let you know when you're getting a call and uh, who it is shows it your picture ID right up on the screen uh, but it also has with the smartphone link it has uh, weather link which actually gives you all your weather where you're at uh, if you have a, a course plotted and there's uh, any inclement weather along the way it'll automatically give you a pop-up and let you know you're headed toward um, you know thunderstorms anything like that which is clearly that is crucial with a motorcycle so that is a nice feature uh, for this type of uh, kit um, if you uh, want you, if you plot a course that's time zones at uh, multiple time zones away or uh, multiple zip codes away it'll uh, it'll give you your weather of where you're going right there so that you know what to expect it also has this tracker feature which is nice if you and Let's say you and one of your buddies have one of these kits. You can actually program each other in each other's mirror kits so that not only can you see where you're at and where you're going on your GPS, but it also shows you a little blinking icon of your buddy and where he may be. If he gets lost, like you're in a city and they get lost, you can actually go through your GPS. So you can actually see right there on, the, on your screen where they're at. So that is without a doubt a nice feature. But clearly the nicest feature, uh, as far as I'm concerned on these, is the actual voice command, which... Uh, which I'll show now. As you can see, it shows you your temperature um, right there. Uh, all the times, always showing your temperature. Traffic updates shows you traffic. Now, all that's within the unit itself. That has nothing to do with your phone. So even if you don't take your phone with you, you get full GPS and full traffic uh, live updates. All right, and then one of the features that I really like is this voice command. And basically, it's, uh, you know, especially if you got to go, like if you're somewhere where you're, you're, you're not your own neighborhood or whatever, and you need a gas run, coffee run, whatever, uh, instead of having to take your glove off and type it in and find this or find that, you just basically say, innovative cycles. 
Fine Place. Sunoco. <laughs> Down. Down. Up. Three. <laughs> Needless to say, that's handy. Navigate. And obviously you can make it either navigate or call them if you want. Because obviously the Bluetooth will is actually connected to your phone. But as you can see, that is without a doubt a uh, handy feature. So, um, hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, I know we're all stuck inside here now. And a lot of people are getting to watch an internet and watching videos that they wouldn't normally watch because we're stuck in. So we figured we'd try to make some stuff here with some of our improvements, some of our upgrades. And I uh, hope you're digging them. We definitely got some more cool stuff coming out. And uh, definitely check out the other uh, uh, channel that we have linked on here, uh, Innovative Cycles, which is going to be, we're definitely going to be posting a lot of stuff. We got a two terabyte hard drive loaded with vids that we haven't uh, made up yet. So we got plenty of stuff uh, to make during this uh, whole quarantine thing that we definitely think you guys are going to dig. All right. So there you go. Those are the... Uh, those are the latest improvements we've done to these uh, GPS rear video uh, mirrors. And um, so we figured we'd make a video. Obviously, we're all stuck inside watching videos. We're making some videos and uh, definitely improving on some of our systems. And uh, we figured we'd make a video out of it, show uh, just how, uh, how much we've improved on these uh, kits since that last video. And uh, we're always going to be upgrading more. So there'll be more videos down the road. So if you're into the bike, the trick bike stuff, you definitely want to subscribe and also check out uh, Innovative Cycles. Uh, that's our actual company, company uh, uh, channel, and that is linked on the Carbon RR Pilot channel here. Uh, definitely subscribe to that. We're going to have a lot of cool uh, mod videos, uh, just helpful, helpful tips and tricks for motorcyclists. And uh, we definitely think you're going to like those videos. We'll be posting up some of them here real soon as well. So hope you're digging the videos. Uh, definitely. Um, Keep an eye out. We'll be dropping some more here real soon. Take care. Everybody stay safe.